Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another, um, another kind of like a podcast. Um, for some reason, the Celtic Main podcast channel um, is just went. Um, I don't know. I literally, I was trying to, um, I was, I was trying to log in to see what we could, um, just looking back at some of the videos. It's not there. Um, I have no email from YouTube. I have nothing. So, I have no idea what's happened. Um, so... We'll need to see, um, I don't know, but anyway, we're going to do continue on the, the main channel on 07. Um, despite a pretty abysmal season, Cal McGregor is set to sign a new three-year contract with Celtic. Um, the 27-year-old is in speculation over a Premier League move over the last few months, but is now set to sign a new three-year deal. Um, another, you know, kind of, what you say, good or bad, I don't know. But we'll talk a bit more about that, guys, um, after the intro. Alright guys, as I've talked from the intro there after I talked about Cal McGregor setting out a deal, we're mainly going to be talking about Roy Keane, Chris Wilder and a bit more about what is this manager job going to have to do for Celtic in this rebuild. People are also going to have to be patient because it, you know, you can't just switch, you can't switch to Celtic to, you know, god godlike in a minute, you know, it will take time. Roy Keane reportedly wants the Celtic manager job and what would be a stunning return to coaching for the Manchester United legend. Uh, Keane's are two spells in charge of Sunderland and it's written down in the past but has not returned in the dugout since he was sat by um he was sat back in twenty eleven. That was the last time he managed a side. Since then he's worked with uh, as an assistant um as a public of Ireland, as a villain, Nottingham Forest as also he's probably the best part in the Sky Sports on the you know, when he was talking he's he's probably the best part. But according to the Sun, Keane has his eye on the vacant position at Parkhead and thinks he is up to the challenge of taking on Steven Gerrard at Rangers next season. The boys have been without a manager, a permanent manager since the line resigned last month, with John Kennedy the current interim manager. Um, with their battle rivals Rangers clinching the SBL title for the first time in 10 years last week, Celtic are in this desperate need of a rebuild. Uh, that's what we're talking about guys, um, you know, and Keane wants to be the man handed responsibility doing so. Uh, the 49 year old ended his playing career at Celtic, spent one season at the club before retiring in 2006. And personally, I wouldn't want Keane at the job, you know, it is going to take um, time, like, you know, whatever, whatever, whoever's going to be the manager, um, you know, it will be, it will be patient, whoever it will be, they will need time. Uh, sorry guys, my cord cut out. Uh, for the out of football, also expect to come in, it's set to be a summer of upheaval at Parkhead, but, but, you know, um, it's who should be handed apart um, the keys to the kingdom. Who should be handed? Who should be? You know, Chris Sutton's in favour of Sean Dyche. Um, you know, we can speak about John Hartson, about Steve Clark. Uh, you know, Chris Wilder. Um, now is um, since he gets sacked from Sheffield United. You know, he had not. You know, only last season he was like all awful. You know, but you know, you got him up to the Premier League and uh, he got some really good games. You know, he got good results, you know, he was up there. I think it was just this season really. Um you know, we'll just need to see Steve Clark now the former um you know we we'll talked about about him you know it, it's gonna be hard, it will be. Um as I said a while especially officially left Shells United after performing miracles in Yorkshire, the boyhood United fan left after guiding the blades from League One into the English Premier League in space of only three years while there. Last season, United ended the campaign with a top half finish after securing ninth place. It was a best record in English football in 28 years. Wow, wow. However, unfortunately, poor recruitment this season has, left, has led to a miserable campaign from the Blades. Wilder had United bottom the Premier League and 14 points adrift from safety. Last night, a report from Sheffield United News, a club uh, fan site, stated that. The announcement from Wilder's departure had been delayed due to the interest from Celtic. However, a Yorkshire club has now announced his departure. Um, Chris Wilder to Celtic isn't everybody's cup of tea. Hard job winning fans over. It will be for anybody. Anybody will come in. You know, mainly I think Eddie Howe was the main man, but anybody coming in, it won't. It won't. It won't the rebuild won't take shape like as fast as you think it would. It will need time to happen. 
um, impressively, impressively and admirably Sheffield United continued to play a short passing possession game this season that was easy on the eye Wilder never resorted to the long ball regardless on of how difficult things got in the top flight um, with bombing full backs such as George uh, Bulldog and Enda Stevens Wilder put an emphasis on stretching back lines with their wide play that's something that should have really promising promisingly for Celtic supporters if he becomes our new boss getting that width which line never done um, however many won't be too impressed with Sheffield United's Sheffield's recruitment this season uh, the club splashed out West Brom flop Ollie Burke which we had a couple of years ago and also spent much as 20 million on woefully underperforming Ollie McBurney uh, Wilder spoke about recruitment uh, with Sheffield United at the start of 2021. He had a pop at those who had the, have uh, the club signs and stated that they don't realise how hard it is to sign Premier League level players for Sheffield United. Wow. Um, you know, we'll need to see um, in the coming days, weeks, you know, summertime, what will happen. Um, it will take time, as I say. Well, before we, you know, it's just like before we talk about next week's well I don't really want to talk about the Rangers game because we all know what's going to happen it's like a film you've watched about four times you already know what's going to happen you're just waiting for it to happen we'll talk about the next permanent Celtic manager odds according to Sky Bet Chris Wilder is number one 11 to 10 John Kane's number two 2 to 1 Roy Keane Eddie Howe Enzo Maresca Frank Lampard Paul Lambert Rafa Benitez Roberto Mandinez and Steve Clark so there's no Eddie Howe on there um, from, the, from the top 10. There is, sorry. I just read it out. I'm st- Eddie Howe's number four. It's, 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 it's not, I don't, I'm not happy with seeing Eddie Howe going down that table. I want him back up there one to one. You know, I, I'm a big Eddie Howe fan. I really want him to see him coming in. But we'll find out. It will be a tough month for Celtic. Um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll talk all about it, guys, when we you know get the latest news and, um, you know, we, we get and more understanding who will be the next manager Celtic moving on guys we'll finally I don't want to talk about too much because we'll do a special podcast um, talking about talking about the game on Thursday night uh, we'll talk about about ill from then um, sorry guys my recording cut out again um, I'll talk a bit, a bit more of the game and then obviously I'll do my separate video where they do the preview for, um, you know predictions video um, and then I'll talk about the game um, after, you know, afterwards, all of it. Um, but I hope to see if we win or lose on Sunday. I'm well, expecting to lose, but if we win, well, it's a shrug of the shoulders. Um, you know, it gives us a wee bit of joy, but I expect on Monday morning, hopefully, <laughs> we, we, see, we see a manager, you know, this is a new manager and this is it. And then, and then the season ticket things will come out. And that will get, you know, people in interested it really will it really will get in people interested in us um, I'm really interested and hopefully it's exciting as well this um, rebuild for Celtic we want to be fighting for this title next season we really want to we don't want Rangers slipping away this 2 in a row 3 and all that stuff we want we want back up there for the title again um, so yeah I'll talk a bit more guys um, when we're discussing the old firm game on Thursday night, maybe Lewis will be as I don't know. But um uh, play to subscribe like guys on the main channel guys. The Celtic mind the channels I don't know the YouTube's just took it down, I don't know why. Um but mainly this this podcast series will be mainly on the you know seven channel now for probably now on pretty honest. Uh please subscribe like guys and I'll see you guys on Thursday night for the the podcast talking about um the old fun preview and then I'll do my separate video of myself um, doing the predictions video and all that stuff. Until next time guys, peace.